Okay, oh, well, that's the first thing I need to get to. I welcome back to this segment of Ted TV. We are live in Santa Monica at the Vanilla Bean Bakery in the volume. Talking behind my back. Forgot we got this new microphone here trying to get, bring you better audio. We got a new camera trying to bring you better visuals. A new computer bring you uninterrupted TED TV because we froze during that interview with Larry Hankin, man. My little netbook went we back up online quickly. I know. Well, we I know it seemed like a long time, but it was. Oh, wasn't. we're not doing that again. We, we got good gear now. Um, but we just finished. Our meal at the Vanilla Bean Bakery. We had the the, the chicken jalapeno grilled panini, and we still got this bowl of uh, potato, potato leek soup, soup because we've been sharing okay, and talking and not, not finishing. And, but this is this soup is. I love cream soups, anyways, but I usually feel very full and heavy and fat after eating cream soups. I don't feel any of that here. Right. It's, it's just it's, it's light. so light on the tongue. Um, but creamy, creamy and light. I don't know how they managed to walk that line. I really don't. I got to tell you, I'm really lucky because I asked Scarlett, like, on the way in here, it's like, you know, what if we don't like the food? You know, we're going to, I, I, I want to be honest, but I don't want to be that honest. Right. Luckily, the food's fantastic here, so there's no worry about having to have an awkward moment in here. I love the vanilla bean. The air temperature is just perfect in here. I guess are you a little cold? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm always cold though. But see, I'm yeah. You know, I always need. A, I mean, it's I'm using it in the sun, so this light air on me feels good. It's not like freezing air conditioning. It's just really a, a nice temperature, a nice tall ceilings, bright room, all these windows, and a bakery case to die for. Oh my god! With gluten-free and vegan compatible um, menu options. So if you haven't seen the clip of the bakery case, you need to go back a few episodes <laughs> and check out the bakery case. We've got viewers with us, and my uncle Dan, and we got Ed here from uh, Concord, California. Uncle, Hi, Ed. Uncle Dan's in Ohio. And Ed asked me a question. He asked if I was doing the art show tonight. Oh, yeah, yes, so I am. You know I am. I'm so excited for the art show tonight. Lindsay Karen is going to be the, uh, is, is our guest tonight. Uh-huh. And Lindsay's this cute, adorable. She turns 22 on your de- birthday. Her birthday's July 28th, too. Uh, so Lindsay Karen is the artist opening up her art show tonight at the Talking Stick. And uh, she's, I just love talking to her. I love this, I just met her, but I, I wrote something really nice about you. Know, she's just got a wonderful heart, soul, and a gift. Um, she's very talented. You you saw her work at the I Talking did. Stick. I did, I did. Her work evokes real sense memory. It's amazing. It, and that's, it's, that's what her whole show's about, is touching all your senses. Um, and it, I was, I'll read the plaque uh, for her show later when we're there tonight, covering her show. She will be a guest on TED TV. She wants to be interviewed. So we'll have Lindsay Karen, this young 20, not even 22 yet, uh, artist from Pepperdine, graduate of Pepperdine. Has Love Pepperdine. Toured uh, many, extensive tour of uh, North and uh, South America. I'm pretty sure she, yeah, she was just in Spain. This girl's, she's got a, she's got a good brain in her head and very good heart. One of the, um, just to really quickly get back to this amazing um, vanilla bean bakery, mm. I found a lot of restaurants, especially in California, they're always trying to reinvent the wheel. They want to give you something you've never had before. You know what? A lot of the times I want to go into a restaurant, I want to eat, I'll try something new, but it has to sound familiar to me. It has, to, I mean, there are certain things that, like jalapenos. I'm not crazy about jalapenos. I don't want to go into a place and have and find out because they're trying to fuse two things together that should never have been fused together. Mm. So this is crea- a creative menu, but it's stuff that you still feel familiar with. There's still the comfort of knowing I'm getting something that I like. Which is, the, the, the problem with trying these inventions in a lot of restaurants, you're paying good money for something you might not like. You mm. know, that might be just not, so. Um, I, I just love this particular brand of creativity because it's nothing I've ever had before, but boy, it's it's familiar and it's, I don't know, you just feel like you're at your grandma's house having a dent, having a sandwich and... I'm going to grab that menu. I'm going to read you I'm gonna read you some of the other items on it. But, and here's my free cookie. I took my half of the free cookie because I finished before I tatted wolf down my half of the sandwich earlier. Um, not here, he comes back with the menu. All right, guys. So what we had was the 
chicken jalapeno, which is green pesto, tomatoes, lettuce, pepper jack, and jalapenos. No, I didn't. I, that should actually say spinach, not lettuce, I believe, because I had spinach on my sandwich. I'd much rather have spinach. That was great. The pesto was such a surprise. I didn't know that was coming. Some of their other paninis here, they've got the ham and cheese, a roasted turkey, grilled veggie, that's seasoned vegetables, mixed greens, tomatoes, onions, Swiss cheese, and green pesto. The green pesto is fabulous, I gotta tell you. They got grilled cheese, they have the chicken jalapeno, mozzarella with prosciutto, oh, buffalo mozzarella, prosciutto, fresh basil with balsamic and olive oil. They have the artichoke grilled panini. That's marinated artichoke hearts, fire roasted bell peppers, uh, pepper jack, uh, tomato with boslamic and olive oil, and a tuna melt. Tuna melt's got tomatoes, avocado, your choice of Swiss, pepper jack, cheddar, or provolone cheese. That's just the paninis. They've got a breakfast, they got griddles, they got homemade salads. We're gonna read more of that. I wanna see the salads. And then the bakery. I mean, not the, uh, uh, well, the bakery deli case is amazing. Oh, and then if you don't want a grilled pin, you need to have a whole list of cold sandwiches here too. Green pesto, egg salad, BLT, chicken salad, the Cali Club, summer sandwich, the sundowner, and almond tuna salad sandwich. Yeah. So, you Sorry, got... I've been so quiet, but I've been enjoying this cookie. Uh, so this is the vanilla bean bakery. And uh, I highly recommend this place. Look on the back. What's up? We've got your vegan desserts right here listed on the back for you. We've got vegan options are cheesecake, key lime tort, oatmeal cookie, mm -hmm. and chocolate chip cookie. These are incredibly reasonable prices too. They have gourmet hot dogs. Wow, this is crazy. You know, there's nothing reasonably priced in, in Southern California really for isn't. you to say that that says something. Because oh, I know. They're just California. I was, where was I? Uh, where were we? I was with, oh, 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 that's right. Dave and I uh, were at Pan's Restaurant yesterday, which is where they filmed um, scenes from Pulp Fiction. Oh. Yeah, we took a tour. I gave you guys a tour. We went inside Pan's Restaurant. We looked at that menu. $13 hamburger. A $13 hamburger. Oh, I got reading to do. That's yeah, cool. for a $13 hamburger, better be able to. <laughs> I think my Uncle Dan says he's going to be starting Dan TV from Ohio next year. <laughs> How about drinking one for his uncle and letting them all know that we are thinking of him? <laughs> oh. Sounds like a good plan, Dan. Aw, thank you, Dan. Yeah, and uh, Ed up in, um, up in Concord says he's going to be seeing my brother on Sunday, and they'll be downing a few Coronas, and I should join them the next time I'm back in town. I would love that. I would absolutely love that. I'd love to see my brother. Now, just to Been recap really quickly for our viewers, how did you come um, up with the idea of TED TV? It was a work in progress, right? I didn't. You guys came up with TED TV. <laughs> I didn't. I, I, was just, I was just trying to capture some of my music, uh, playing my music uh, on the boardwalk. And then, you know, we had all the chaos break out with Scotty and YouTube hits and the night party life. The, had, things got wild on the boardwalk. And all of a sudden, people are like, Ted TV, I love Ted TV. I'm like, oh, Ted TV. <laughs> I guess I'm I Ted TV guess now. I'm Ted TV. <laughs> Very next day, we started broadcasting as Ted TV. And, you know, I'm so happy. I, I'm not all about the numbers, but the numbers tell me something. The numbers say that people are watching. I have, like, on all these videos I put out, if you add up how many, people, how many times people have watched, we're over a 1,000 hits now. And this is just under three it's weeks right? of growing. And the hits are coming from all over the place. Um, I have new subscribers, uh, new friends, uh, friends. But I have new subscribers and friends on, on YouTube that I, I don't even know who these people are, but they're seeing my videos and they subscribe so they can always get the latest fresh copies of TED TV. Um, I have the, um, oh, 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 I wanted the, the other number that was important was, I can't think of it right now. Do you but, want to say something the, I can tell? The gentleman that um, stopped you on the beach, and you knew you had a following, but one day you went to the beach and a guy said, oh, I was just watching you on television a few minutes ago. Mm. So it's that must have been kind of mind-blowing. That, that was really mind-blowing because 
And that way that story worked out was I just, I walked down to the boardwalk. I was gonna, oh, I was going down to the beach to shoot photographs for my court date. You know, <laughs> I'm in court quite a bit nowadays. Uh, got to Southern California. The cops don't let you breathe wrong here. Um, they do if you have money. I guess. <laughs> but I'm walking down to the boardwalk. As soon as I hit Windward Circle, this guy goes, Hey, it's Ted TV live in Venice. And I'm like, Oh, no, he goes, Hey, it's Ted. Are you live? I go, well, I'm not right now, but I was earlier. He goes, I know. I was watching. I was like, Who is? I don't know this guy. I didn't. I did I don't. I didn't. I don't. I, I don't know who he was. And he was watching. How fabulous is that? That's just so darn cool. It's and like, that was 10 days in? Eight uh, or ten days yeah, in? It was, yeah, it was amazing. So It's addictive. I mean, you start watching one episode, and you're like, well, I'm just going to see what he did the next one. Oh, I'm just going to see what he did the next one. You know, and the next thing you know, two and a half hours has gone by. Here's my half of today's homemade cookie that comes free with your meal. I already ate mine. Again, Vanilla Bean Bakery. Mm. It's 209 Ocean Park Boulevard, 127, or much easier to remember, a corner of 30th and Ocean Park. Phone mm. number is 310 Four five zero three three four four. That's three ten four five zero three three four four. And you want to start making it a habit of coming here because it's going to get real busy real quick. You guys, I know it sounds like I'm just saying all these nice things so that you know they'll like us or something, but that's not it at all. I'm saying nice things because I mean it. This cookie <laughs> is unbelievably good. It's light. It's crisp. It's not sweet. You know, like sometimes cookies are just too sweet for my mouth. The gluten-free one. We should ask. Mm. We should find out what this cookie is. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a crispy oatmeal cookie. Mm -hmm. what, what are the options for there? Well, I noticed down uh, it's when it gave the um, the vegan desserts. Uh -huh. It um, the oatmeal cookie was listed, so I was uh. wondering if that was one of. So. That's amazing. Mm. The food feels good. It does. I mean, I, I feel full, but I don't feel like. And we had a big meal. That was really substantial. That was really good. The food is delicious here. That's our review. Food is awesome. Yes, absolutely. I got to read some fine print here. Let's see, so Dan's doing, Dan's doing Dan TV from Ohio next year. Let's see, Ed and girls uh, drinking one for his uncle. And I'm drinking one for his uncle and let them all know we're thinking. Oh, that's. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, he's just sending a message to Ed. Mm. I know. So oh, even though, even though, what do you, what do you think? Even though Alice is shy, she would heat the cam up, a cam, camera up and ambush her long enough to tell her that we're giving her an A plus on all counts. Should, should, is, that, is that her? That's her. That young girl right there. That's Alice Lee, the owner of the Vanilla Bean Baker. She doesn't want to go on camera. She don't want to talk. Maybe if we just oh. ambushed her and went up and said, "Hey, A plus on all counts." What do you, what do you think, viewers? Yes or no? Yeah, I think we should do that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> 